all right all right look before people start going crazy in the comments disliking the video just think about it am i wrong now at the time of recording this it's been two weeks since rerun ended and i've been contemplating how i wanted to make this video what i wanted to do with it i tried recording this a couple of days ago but i wasn't sure the direction i wanted to take it did i want to talk about how amazing the show was my love for it but there's probably already a hundred videos like that then i thought about comparing the anime that have come out or are upcoming but that felt tedious and kind of boring so let's do a little of both okay let's start with why freeman dog walks any anime this year the short answer is just a total package really good writing amazing storytelling really good characters amazing world building a really interesting world really good fight sequences and freeman herself is the goat it also has the bonus of having really beautiful art and animation that was consistent throughout the whole show shout out to madhouse i could just end the video right here nothing else to say or prove like honestly if we're talking about an anime a tv show show or movie most people are looking for the qualities or something that has the making to become a masterpiece and free run falls into that category it follows that path and if i'm being honest maybe this is just me but season one is a masterpiece it may not have adapted everything just yet but season one has a satisfying conclusion so if it somehow doesn't get a season two which would be wild you could argue that this is a masterpiece i feel like it's hard for a show like this to get you hooked in and captivate you in just a few episodes and i'm talking about like two or three maybe four episodes and you see how amazing this show is potentially gonna be you're just like yeah this is the one then you also see the rawness of this show from the mini demon arc with aura to the major demon arc it's a very well balanced show the way it's just able to handle and balance these like slow chill moments you know these wholesome lighthearted moments maybe some little dark moments you know sad moments and then it's like you know what it's time to turn it up a little let's turn up the heat a little bit and just go off now i feel like in the anime it's probably even taken to another level especially with like the director the team that was working on this so Somehow it just does it well, it just paces it well. I don't know how they do it. So however they did it, they did it. I also think it's very rare to find a show that's able to incorporate flashbacks so well and not feel repetitive or tedious or annoying. Like, oh my God, this is such a drag, another flashback, why? No, 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 that's not the case for this anime. Like you actually care about the flashbacks. You actually enjoy them. You like seeing more of Hemo, the hero's party, learn more about what they went through, learning about Free Rain and her past, learning about Flamel, Flip, Flamel, Flip, how you say your name, you know what I'm talking about? And they only last for what 30 seconds a minute maybe two minutes and in that short amount of time you feel like you learned a lot it feels like a lot has happened you get so much enjoyment from it and a ton of information plus it all comes back around later on in the show it comes full circle again it's rare for a show to have flashbacks like that and be able to handle it so well and not just bore you with it it doesn't try to keep nailing home the same point also from those flashbacks you see how much rerun has grown as a person and how much he's learned when she recalls those memories so it as to the beauty of her character and the show we see so much character development from her and to all the characters introduced as we see throughout this journey another strong point i want to talk about is the fighting i feel like not many people would interpret it the same way i do but i feel like it's just making fun of or taking a little jab at other magical shows where you have these characters that have all these big flashy spells to show off how powerful they are but in freeman's case and also ferns they don't need any of that they don't need to show off they don't need to have these crazy spells to defeat anybody there's no need for them to stand out all they need is Zoltrak that one simple spell to defeat anybody and the only time we see free Rain using any of those big flashy crazy spells is when she's fighting herself which I feel like will be the only time we're ever going to see that unless you know she goes up against a demon that's on the same level as her or maybe the demon king had an offspring or maybe she has a one-on-one -on -one with Sede, Sedes, however you say her name maybe they have a little bout also going back to that fight oh my god I was just speechless the whole time it was a spectacle to see the animation the fluidity of it the scene composition the way it was directed just insanity just wild i couldn't believe what i was watching it's really top two fights this year and it's not too <laughs> but yeah the fighting just feels all strategic feels well thought out you got people who are smart and just crafty with certain spells you know you got the motherfucker i forgot his name who was home the whole time drinking tea while the zam was going on with his illusion spell his doppelganger which was insane that man is a nutcase i need to see more of him then you got you bell who's a fuck demon low-key a psycho just a straight-up murderer but i love her she's really with the shits and then you also got denkin just a wise old mage not really much else to say the 
can go, yeah, damn, this show really just has so many great characters. I could go on and on. Honestly, let me know in the comments. Should I just make a separate video just talking about Freeman? Okay, now let's compare the anime that have come out or that are currently airing this spring season. I'm not going to be looking at the summer and fall season because if you've been on my channel before, you've seen my videos, you know I have a series on here where I blindly predict the upcoming anime seasons. So I got to say the truth to that. I can't spoil myself. You can call me an idiot. It is what it is. Of course, we're going to start off with the winter season. I've already grabbed six anime that are strong contenders. The ones you can make a case for of either being doll walk, doesn't get doll walk, or is it on the same level as free run? Because let's be honest, the majority of these are dog food. So first up, this might be very surprising. I'm not going to lie. I'm being a little biased here. Actually, I'm being pretty biased, but it's tis time for tortured princess. Now you might be thinking, what the fuck? Get this off my screen. What, what is this? What, what are you talking about, man? Come on. Like, come on. Look, look, hear me out. I know the first two to three episodes are kind of the same. I know when you see the cover, you watch the trailer, you think it's just going to be about food, you know, food porn, the princess getting tortured, just telling secrets, but it's not really just about that. It's not the same show after episode three. We get more characters introduced. We see more of the outside world. We get a bunch of randomness, shenanigans, goofiness, a lot of comedic stuff, a lot of wholesome, cute moments, and it doesn't just solely focus on the princess. We actually see all the characters for like half an episode, just focusing on them. And it's not just one character carrying the show. Honestly, all of them are really good characters. You know, you love to see all of them. They're all likable. They're all lovable. Obviously, there's some standout ones here and there, like the Demon King. You no, know, Demon King is a nut. The world is very interesting. It doesn't make sense. You know, it's supposed to be like demons and humans. It seems like it's medieval, but there's phones and cars. It's a very confusing world. And also, random things happen that, you know, could maybe take you away to another world. But the important question, how does it compare to Free Run? Obviously, story and writing-wise, it's not on the same level. But characters in the world, not too far off. It's not close, but I don't think it gets dog walked. Again, I know I'm being biased, but in my honest opinion, it's a pretty fucking good show. Very enjoyable. If you have not watched this, definitely recommend it. The next anime we can make a case for, Soul Leveling. Now, I'm just gonna flat out say it. Hot take, hot take. This anime was overhyped. Oh my god, no way. How could you say that? What's, what's wrong with you? How could you say that? This is the best it was solid it has some cool high fights but outside of that not much going for it nothing to rave home about i mean i know it's a power fantasy so i'm not really expecting much from the story don't care for the characters i know this is only the first season honestly there was no character i was like yo i need to see more of that character they all kind of feel the same they all have this air about them like oh, i'm so f hot i'm so strong don't have any emotional investment in any of them maybe that'll change in season two and jin wo jin the fucking woo himself is just becoming one dimensional i know it's part of the story you know it's from him getting stronger him being a player which is fine but there's no other character to like balance him out also i mentioned this in my video of how does reddit feel about the winter anime season but for power fantasy it's pretty slow paced i feel like so much more should have happened and could have happened so hopefully season two is faster paced and either we get better characters introduced or the characters become interesting but how does it compare to free run let's be honest it doesn't it gets dog walked the next anime we can make a case for delicious in dungeon not too much to say honestly it's kind of similar to free run if you've seen this show you know how good it is so the important question is how does it compare to free run well it doesn't get dog walked it's not on the same level yet but it's not far off so depending how the season ends this might be on the same level as free run because the direction the story is going is very interesting it's getting a little darker it has a good story really good writing really good characters amazing world building a really interesting world food porn if you know you care about that and it's funny <laughs> Also, just like Free Run, it has the bonus of having beautiful art and animation that has been consistent so far. Again, doesn't get dog walk. Potentially will be on the same level as Free Run, depending how season one ends. All right, I know I said six anime, but I changed my mind. It's five anime. So the last two anime for the winter season, if you've seen both these shows, you know how amazing they are. It's The Dangers in My Heart season two and The Apothecary Diaries. The Dangers in My Heart is literally one of the best romances we got in a very long time. 
might possibly go down as one of the greatest of all time. The Apothecary Diaries is a phenomenal historical mystery and psychological anime. Let's be honest, both of these anime are on the same level as Freeman. They both might not have any fighting or action and Dangerous in My Heart doesn't have any world building, you know, what, what you can build on in just modern Japan. But for the type of anime they are, they're the total package. And you could argue that the Apothecary Diaries has better writing than the free run. Also, they have the bonus of having beautiful art and animation. Okay, moving on to the spring season. This might be a little tough since most of these only have one or two episodes out right now. But again, I grabbed six anime that are strong contenders. They're all new seasons or continuations. But I also grabbed another six of the new anime this season. The ones that I see the potential of it not getting dog walked. So let's start with those. Kaiju number eight. When I first seen this, you know, it seemed pretty generic, you know, nothing too crazy. But I did see the potential of it actually being decent, you know, decent writing. I don't know if this is a shonen, but you know, it might be a little different from your traditional shonen if it is one. So I'm 50 50 on it. You know, it might get dog walked, it might not. But if it somehow doesn't, it won't be closer for you, Ren, anyways. Yata Garasu, the first episode isn't out yet, but this seems like it has the potential of having really good writing and it might have really good world building. Seemed like it was a hidden village, supernatural things going on, got some nobles or high class people, maybe somebody's gonna get assassinated. The fight didn't seem promising, definitely doesn't seem like it's gonna get dog walked, trained to the world's end. The first episode was really odd and weird. You got reality bent things going on, humans turning into animals. You know, I see the potential of this having good writing, depending where this journey goes, you know, depending where the characters go, you know, how they develop. This has been good so far. Again, depending where things go, it might not get dog walked. Windbreakers has two episodes. You know, when you first see this show, you're just thinking, you know, delinquents, you know, fighting, a lot of action, not much to it. But surprisingly, it might have some good character stories, you know, character development, because the main character was discriminated against for having two different color eyes and hair. So we'll see, you know, when other characters get introduced, how they're going to develop, how they actually are, where the story is going to go. Obviously, it's not going to be on the same level as Free Run, but it might not get dog walk. Go Go Loser Ranger only has one episode out right now. I'm 50 50 on this. It might get dog walk. It might not. The action and the fighting seems like it's going to be really good. The characters might be cool and interesting, but story wise, it does seem like it's going to be lacking a little. So we're going to have to see about that. Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night has one episode out right now. This has a real potential of not getting dog walked. Seems like the story is going to be solid. The writing is going to be good. The characters are going to be good and have some good character moments, character development. From what I'm getting, it's going to be an emotional and wholesome journey of following your dreams. Definitely have some mildly high expectations. Now on to the anime we can make a case for. First up, Demon Slayer Hashira Training Arc. <laughs> No, no, come on, let's be honest, let's be so for real. You can say the action is better, but you're lying to yourself. You're on hella cope if you think this is anywhere near or close to free run. So, the important question how does it? the next anime we can make a case for? Slime Season 3. There's currently two episodes out right now, just mostly been set up for things to come. You know, the first two seasons were good, so I expect the same from Season 3. Now, the important question is how does it compare to free run? Low key, it is a total package but i feel like it's missing something for me to put it on the same level as freeman or close to it i don't know what it is maybe it's just missing that oomph. so for now obviously it doesn't get dog walk but we'll see if things change after season three the next anime we can make a case for spice and wolf never seen the original i have heard good things about it there's two episodes out right now this might be a hot dumb take but from what i've seen so far meh you know i haven't gotten the feeling like this is gonna be something Something special. I know it's only been two episodes, but as of right now, I'm 50 50. Might get dog walk, might not, because the only thing that's comparable is that it's slow paced and it might have really good writing. So hopefully, I'm proven wrong. The next anime we can make a case for Sound Euphonium Season 3. I don't know if this is being biased, but if you've seen this show, you know how good it is. The first two seasons were really good. I expect the same from Season 3. So the important question how does it compare to Free Run? Obviously, there's no action, there's no fighting, the world building, you know, it's just modern Japan, but it has a solid story, good writing, especially character writing, the characters in the show, really good, the way they interact with each other, character moments, the way they develop, beautiful to see. Another thing that's beautiful is the animation, oh my 
fucking goodness. I don't know how Kyoto does it, but Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It's like you're watching a movie. And it's been consistent like this throughout the whole series. So I'm going to have to say, obviously, it's not on the same level as Free Ren, but it doesn't get dog walked. The next anime we can make a case for, Konosuba Season 3. There's only one episode out right now, but come on, it's Konosuba. When you really think about it, low key, it's a total package. Now, if it wasn't for the Mega Me spinoff, I would say this is on the same level as Free Ren, but since it exists, it's near Free Ren. Maybe Season 3 changes that. And the last anime we can make a case for in the spring season, Jobless Reincarnation Season 2 Part 2. I mean, there's really not much to say. They're pretty much the same show. One just like Isekai and has a male protagonist. I think it's pretty obvious that they're on the same level. Now, the real question, the real question, which one's better? Personally, for me, well, I think my answer is pretty obvious, but again, on the same level as Free Ren, I can't really imagine it just taking a turn for the worst, you know, just going in a bad direction. I can't really picture that. You never know. All right, gather around, gather around. Look, it doesn't really matter. It's not that deep. I say all this to say at the end of the day, 2025 to anime of the year is going to be JJK. And best fantasy is going to be Demon Slayer which is a fucking sad reality. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Should I make a part two to this once all the anime come out for this year? Or just leave a random comment. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Wow. Share with whoever you think might enjoy my content. Other than that, I'm out.